Hello everyone, my name is Hush and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we are going to create a chat GPT API key for our application. Now first thing why we require that API key? Actually the functionalities in our application that is AI chatbot, AI image creator as well as language translator is totally dependent on ChatGPT and for that purpose we require ChatGPT API key and maybe in future videos I will show you an alternative way uh, how we can achieve some of those functionalities without ChatGPT but for now we are gonna use it and if you don't know what is a ChatGPT ChatGPT is an AI chatbot developed by OpenAI okay now as you can see you can just go to this documentation of open ai and you can click on documentation api and examples but for now our main concern is creating an api key with a around five dollar free trial of three months now you can log in or you can sign up so actually i will recommend you to sign up which means creating a new account and use a mobile number that you haven't used before on this site so once you sign up this website will look somewhat like this okay so docs overview and as you can see there are some guide and I'm already signed up so it is showing me like that okay now the important thing is creating an API key so you can just hover on this and you will see option called is API key and actually I have already created an API key but in your case this will be empty so you have to click on this create new secret key and you can just give a name to it so for now I am just naming as YouTube key and you can just click on this create secret key now it will show you that API key that you have to copy and it is saying you won't be able to see it again so just copy it out and keep it in a secret place in my case I'm just clicking on done and I will go to my VS code and inside this globals I have created a variable called a chat GPT API key and I will paste this key here okay now again we move to that website and there are some more things that I want to let you know you can delete the key from here if you wish and another thing there is a co option called as usage in which you can see how much you have used so in my case around seven dollars is used out of eighteen dollars so actually i have created this key a long time ago at that time chat gpt used to provide eighteen dollar free credits but now it is reduced to five dollar so in your case it will only show five dollars here okay and actually i have used a lot it in month of feb so you may see here in the february month you can see how much I have used so it will show me the details like how much cost okay so when we use chat GPT API key it will show you this so there are something called as DALI API so this is for image generation uh, this is mainly for text data okay chatting feature so you can keep track of your API key usage okay now another thing you can click on this settings and there is something called as limit so here are some rate limiting that chat GPT provide like if you use this model of chat GPT turbo 3.5 actually we will use this one so at a time it accepts most 40,000 tokens now what are these tokens we will cover about them a little bit later and it accepts only three requests per minute okay so that's another limitation that we have and as you go below now you will see you will get five dollar of free credit okay so enjoy with that so now we have successfully created an api key now we need to understand this token stuff and pricing structure of chat gpt okay if you want to create this application for a academic project well and good five dollar will be sufficient for you but if you are thinking it has a commercial project then you should know what is pricing and how this token works so now let's cover a bit about it so first and foremost thing you can go to this chat gpt's uh, url okay i will provide the link in the description and there are multiple options like if you click on this api you will see some stuff like pricing so if you click on this pricing you will go to this page and as you move below uh, here are pricing for different type of models like language models so chat gpt and one more thing here is something called as token stuff so price per 1000 tokens actually chat gpt doesn't charge you for request rather it charge you for token and 1000 tokens is approximately equal to 750 words okay 
and actually one token is equivalent to four characters nothing more than that like a b c d so if you type a b c d you have used one token okay and here are some charges like for 1000 token if you use this model of chat gpt version 4 the charge will be around 0.01 dollar so you might think this is bit too less but actually that's too much okay if you go below now there is something for chat gpt actually that is also a bit costlier and if you move below and we are gonna use this one chat gpt 3.5 turbo so comparatively it's relatively cheaper to charge gpt4 okay so if you use turbo model in that case pricing just go a bit too down okay so we will use this one and here you can go we are also gonna use something called as image models so i will try to use this dali 2 image model with this configuration now why because image pricing is bit too less per image they charge around 0.018 dollar so if you want to convert into rupee that is 1.5 rupees so actually we will try to use these dali models okay if you wish you can use these models they are bit high tuned models and there is one more new addition here which is audio model so chat gpt also provides service to text to speech and there is a model called as whisper so you can also use that but in our case we will only require this image model as well as the chat gpt turbo 3.5 model so i hope you are a bit clear with the pricing of chat gpt before using it okay how much it will cost so you can multiply with the kind of tokens or request and you will get an overview of it for now since this is for educational purpose we will use a free key of five dollar and that will be sufficient for us and if you want to create a new key you can again use a different mobile number and gmail and you can create another key so that's it for this video See you in the next video in which we will cover how we can use ChatGPT as an API using our API key. So thank you for watching and till then bye bye.